Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy and it's Thrifted Thursday and we haven't done one of these hauls in a while. So um, I've actually had this haul sitting right here for several weeks. I have just been feeling run down and I, I could not get to it. But here I am, uh, sorry about the lighting. It's been raining and storming all day. So I'm working with what I got. Um, so you guys know the drill. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I thrifted and then it will be up on my website. Though, oh, of course you have to come say hi. Uh, the website will be listed down in the description box and um, I will try to remember to put it in the comments as well. Hank always has to come see. Okay, you know he wants to see your booty. Go lay down. All right, so what's up? What, what do we do? That, that we do. Okay, I found these brass candlesticks. They were $4.99 each, and I just thought they were so grand, but they were also so simplistic that they would look gorgeous all year round on a fire mantle on like a tree haul. I can just see these so many different places, especially for Christmas. These would look so gorgeous. And then they have just for, what do you call the, the candles, you guys? The little, the skinny tall candles? I'm not sure, but I really like them. They're the same size, so they're not like staggered or anything. And they're in really good condition. It says made in India on the bottoms of them, but no other markings. So I found those and I picked them up for $4.99 each for the size they are. I was like, that's a steal. Ooh, look, the sun's coming out. Yay. Um, I found, you guys, it's been a while. I feel like I'm finding all of this stuff for the very first time again. Look at this butt pan. Look at how beautiful this is. And this one's like pretty heavy. Like I did find another one. And I met, see, this is how long I've had this that I was like, oh, this bump pan would be gorgeous for fall. Not like falls over, but look at this one. Do you see the ombre? Is that not gorgeous? Even to just hang on your wall Oh my gosh, I love it. So like this one, it's super light, super lightweight. This one has some like girth to it for sure. This one has a lot more weight. It says it's Bunt, oh, Bunt brand Fiesta party pan. I'm gonna have to look this one up. It is Nordic wear. And just the details. I couldn't even imagine actually making something in here and how beautiful that cake would turn out. I'm definitely not a baker, that's for sure. But, I mean, can this be clean? Oh yeah, that can definitely be clean. So like there's, it looks like there's some like white in there. It looks like flour or I don't know. But otherwise, after it's cleaned out, it'd be in perfect condition. And of course it's worn and stuff, but oh, I'm gonna have to, this is so, Pretty. And this one I found for $4.99. All of this stuff is from Savers. And this one was $1.99. Now this one doesn't have any Nordic markings on it, but I love the wear on like the bottom. Somebody loved it. Somebody used it. Love that one. Uh, I found this brass little pumpkin for a light. I can definitely see this in a bookshelf somewhere, even, you know, like right there or down there. And this I got for $2.99 and it just has that. Let's see. Okay. I got this just for our house. So it's a cutting board the C and it looks, it it literally looks brand new. It doesn't look like anybody ever used it. It was $1.49, but I wanted to get it because it says handcrafted by Pal Pablomar Puz 
puzzle, I think, Roland Park, Kansas. So somebody actually handmade it here in Kansas. So I just thought that was really cool. And so I got this just so that we could keep in the house. And seriously, it looks brand new. It doesn't even look like there's any cut marks on this. So I grabbed that for us. And then look at these. I don't know what they were. They are like ceramic based. So there's these two smaller ones. Now somebody definitely, somebody definitely painted these themselves. It looks like black and then a gold over it. And you can see, I wonder if somebody made these or if this was something that like was bought to paint at like a craft store, but you can see like the hollow, but then this one doesn't have it. That's why I'm like, I wonder if somebody made these. So there's those two sizes and then these bigger sizes. Are they exactly? Yeah, and then here's these bigger. So you could see this one actually was painted nicely. And you could see the back is gold. And then this one, so it has the same, these are the details. And then again, like that one, you could totally see up in there. And this one you can't. So I'm assuming these were like meant for trays of some sort. You can definitely, like these would be so pretty, just like maybe glue a hanger on the back and then, uh, get some, print some vintage photos off of like graphic fairy. I would repaint this, you know, maybe like apothecary, farm fresh, some green color, even maybe like a darker green. I don't know. And then put like a vintage photo in there and then stagger them. That would look super pretty. So this, the bigger ones were $1.99 each. And then the smaller ones were 99 cents each. And there's no, it doesn't look like there's like any chipping to them or anything. So I don't know if I want to DIY them or what. I don't think anybody would buy them looking the way they do, but who knows. All right. I found this, which I will be selling. And of course it's Scream Cottage Core to me. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition after it's cleaned up, but look at how pretty, look at the wood details on that and it's what do you what do you call it? a trivet a trivet i think it is and look at the legs on it and then it says this one is actually says made in italy wow so that's a good piece that's a good piece right there try looking that one up that is beautiful Yeah, that's pretty there's like no damage to it that just looks like food in there so there's that i found quite a few cottage core pieces oh and then you guys i keep finding these birds and you guys sorry i'm not gonna remember even though you guys have told me many times now i think it was home designs made the birds these guys this these i actually didn't find at savers i found them at another thrift store and they're they were two for $2.99 and I've been seeing these left and right and y'all for waxing the like I don't think I ever showed you guys how mine came out or no did no maybe I did here's one I actually have them in my hall tree this is painted with mineral chalk paint and then I white wax them Aren't those stunning? I feel like you can't really get like how beautiful the wax looks on these guys, but oh, let's put you back there. Okay, so I grab those every time I see them. I think they're so pretty. Okay, we got, we got a lot to get through. Okay, let's see. Y'all, John, my husband. So he enjoys going thrifting with me, but I swear he finds like the most expensive things and the biggest things. And I'm like, babe, 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 no, we can't do that. 
Um, so he found this, which I'm not mad about. It was $10 and I think it was worth it. <laughs> it's so dusty, so dusty. Is there anything in there? And it is this big old bird church house. And I just thought, I mean, like it's beautifully distressed already. You see that? And then the base of it is so big. I would assume you could lay down some seed in there, but of course it's not like closed off on the side. So, I mean, you could still lay some seed in there. And then, yeah, it, it, it's a birdhouse. And it, it doesn't have any markings. It just says made in the Phil, Philippines. And that's it. There's no like who made it or anything like that. But I thought that was a good piece. And I told them, I said, I might want to keep this for us. I would keep it as inside decor. I don't think I would put it outside just because we don't have a big enough like space for it. But this is pretty, pretty cute for 10 bucks. So I got that. And then he picked this out, which is also expensive. But then he was like, he researched it. So that's the only reason we got it. Seriously, this stuff has been sitting here. It's so dusty. So he found this copper pitcher and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then I saw the price tag and I was like, $10. I was like, that's, mm, that's a lot of money. But then he looked at this and it's, um, Gregorian, Gregorian made in USA. And he looked it up and these pictures are going for like 40 to $50 on eBay right now. So they are actually pretty expensive pieces. The whole brand is. So for $10, I was like, I think I could get some money back on it. And it has some like natural distressing, like, you know, it's worn but it is beautiful. There's no dents on it. I love the way that this comes to like a sharp point, but I think that's so pretty with some long stems coming out of there. For sure. Fab shop. All right, what's another big piece that I decided to get because I'm weird. I need to stay away from these huge pieces. But you guys, for $7.99. <laughs> Okay, break. My husband is gone. All right, you guys, we are back. Sorry, the sun actually decided to come out. So I have sunshiny days. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. The lighting is going to be a little trip. Okay, so like I was saying, I have a knack for getting big things. And I couldn't help myself. Look. You see the like bird and it almost looks like, like a raven or a crow or something like that. Like it doesn't look like a traditional little bird, I guess. And the top comes off and it's just has nothing inside. It, I, it's a newer piece. It's definitely not vintage by any means. Cause I mean, it has a tag made in China. So definitely not vintage, but I love, love, loved all of the details in this, like even the top. And if somebody wanted to take that on, it's like, I love the color just as is. And like, if I had kitchen space, I would probably put this in my kitchen. Um, I would probably, I want to say I'd paint it and wax it just because they, there is seriously so many little details in this, like even the like rope look around the border. So that was $7.99. And I couldn't help myself. I think it was the bird. I don't know. But we got that. I had found this little piece of pottery and I always get them if they're, this one I can't. Galen, Galen, I'm not sure. It's definitely 
signed on the bottom, but I just thought the unique shape of how small it is, is was really beautiful. And I, I like the muted colors, of course. I love the handle. And I just really love the idea that these are all made by hand by all different people. So I found that for $2.99. Back again, if I get interrupted one more time. Uh, I have things separated into collections so that it's easier to find. So I have like pottery, books, um, everything kind of goes into the thrift finds. Um, so yeah, everything's separated for you guys. So it's super easy to find. And just a note, shipping has, I did increase the shipping by a little bit because shipping USPS has increased their shipping rates for the holidays. So I just had to adjust them to reflect the adjustments that I have started seeing in the prices. So, okay, what else? I thought this was so cool. This was $2.99 and it's a tea light, a tea light like rooster, chicken, hen. I, I, I would assume it was a rooster and then it has that beautiful patina of the green on here how pretty would this be with like a little led tea light in your kitchen or even on top of books you guys know i have a thing for books i'm like i could totally oh, do i want to keep this it totally matches like my candlesticks which i still have not posted for sale i don't know i like him and he was 2.99 or her whoever you are And only one leg. I found this duck. This was $2.99. Now I got it because it says wood duck drake or drobe by W Locus Lucas 11 12 88. So I don't know if they actually made it from start to finish or if they just painted it, but I really thought it was cool that either way, if the person hand painted it or made the entire thing, I always usually tend to purchase things that say they are handmade because I think it's awesome that they're potentially one of a kind. And even like the detail to the glossy beak of the duck is beautiful. So just need to clean this up. This would be beautiful if somebody has like a like an office space, like this would be really pretty as like a paperweight or something. I could see it like mahogany desk and you have like your old antique stuff and then you have your little duck as a paperweight. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, I found two of these pieces, but another one is in my car because I just recently found it. But can we just say cottage core? Like cottage core to the max. Beautiful cat. Look at the florals. Even the color is like perfection. <laughs> perfection. So I thought it was gorgeous. It has like felt on the bottom. I don't know if there's a hole in there. I'm not going to rip it off, but it's almost in perfect condition. It looks like there's maybe some wear on the paw, but other than, is that a sticker or? I don't know if that's a sticker. I'll have to clean that. I see that right there. I don't know, but for the most part, this cat is in beautiful condition and it was $2.99. It's resin, maybe. My kids are home, so if we get interrupted. Okay. And then, don't want you guys to see all the dog hair. This I found at the other, like, another thrift store. How perfect is this? It was $4.99. And right away, I thought a plant, like, would this little cat be sitting on here with a nice green, hey you guys, um, like plants or something? Oh my gosh, how stinking cute would that be? And I, I knew right away, I was like, 
This is where I'm like, you guys, we have square footage in our house. So they say, I, I think they counted the vaulted ceilings because we seriously don't have like space to put things like this. Like I, I would not be able to put this anywhere anywhere in the house that I can think of, unless I put it on this table. Um, and it looks like it's in pretty darn good condition. Like nothing's wobbly on it. It's really beautiful and it's all real wood. So I found that for $4.99 and I was like, yep, mom was picking that up. Okay. Oh, I don't want this to be too long, but it's going to be. All right. I'm going to try to speed through this. I found this hanging basket which I thought was gorgeous. It was $2.99. Seems to be in pretty good condition. I mean, I always see this at the bends, like that slight cracking right there. See, it's in like all of them. Um, but I just love that it hangs on the wall like this. And especially this one, maybe with some Christmas greenery. I might do put some Christmas greenery in here and then post it because I mean, the green is perfection and then to have some greenery in there and then you could hang it from like a hall tree hook or a cabinet or whatever so that one was $2.99 I always find really good deals at savers for the baskets I have a thing for finding unique <laughs> salad utensils are these zebras what are these I have no idea but like I said if I don't think I'll see it again then most likely I'm gonna buy it and that's what I did with these. And they were $3.99. So I love them. Hi. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> That's the life. All right. Oh. Let's see, I found this, which it doesn't have a top, but I do not care. Like, it has these like leaf details on it. Hopefully you can see that. It's like a little teapot, it has a wooden handle. This does bend. I hate that it doesn't have the top, but I mean, for me, I see it as putting little Florals sticking out of there. I wonder, it'd be cute for matches or maybe toothpicks if they were longer. And it was $2.99 and it's actually like imprinted. Uh, says India. Can you see that? Like, it's like raised. That's really cool. And it like has some weight to it for being as little as it is. So that was $2.99. And the handle, it's kind of weird. It's like actually like a red. Oh, sorry about the lighting, you guys. The sunshine is kind of throwing it off there. Found some more copper. Y'all love you some copper. So do I though. I feel like it's something that can go with a lot of things. And how adorable is this pail? First off, like the handles, so cute so cute you can even use this like if you have gatherings and put like plastic forks spoons knives in it carry it out set it on the table you can put a floral arrangement in here so many options on what to do with this little guy and he was $2.99 all right found another piece of pottery and this I need to actually look this up because this is from Story Pottery, Marshall, Texas. And that's what it looks like. It kind of gives me like the 90s vibes. I'm not going to lie with like the blue and stuff. But I was like, one, this is handmade and like how they got the color and this effect is beautiful. I don't know if they were intended to be a cup or a vase, but for $1.99, you guys know I have a thing for the handmade pottery. So I got it. And then look at this. Look at this copper pan. Like you could even see the hammered. Do you see it? On the bottom. And then we have the wood handle and the little like leather, uh, I was gonna say strap, 
but love this. Love this. Such a beautiful decorative piece for a kitchen. <laughs> and then this guy, I don't, how old, how old were you? How much? $2.99. And I love this just as is. I love how chubby he is, or she, or he, or she, or it doesn't matter. And then how worn they have this look in. Oh, I love the look. I love the colors. The eyes aren't like all weird or beady or anything. And it's in pretty great condition. Like no chips on the tail. And it has a lot of texture on it too. So that one was $2.99. And then of course, I found another crocheted blanket. This one's more like of a throw or maybe like a bait. Yeah, this is like a baby's blanket. So if you have a new baby coming into your, oh, I might wanna keep this. Like as a throw on my little, just look at the details on here. Hold on, I didn't even like look that good. Oh wow, it almost looks like a, like a seashell. Do you, do you see the scalloped knitting on there? How beautiful is that? And, a t and the little tassels, oh, I love that. I don't know if I'm gonna part with that. Because again, I always check if there's like stains. There's no stains on this white one, and this was $3.99. So, you guys, I might not post that. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Found this guy. He's modern. He's from Michael's. He was $2.99. But I thought it would be a fun project to, uh, to paint and wax and do whatever with. So, I got him. I actually got these for our bedroom upstairs. <laughs> And um, yeah, I, so I should probably put them up there now. But $1.99, they're just muted colors upstairs. If you saw my fall decorate with me video, it's all muted colors like greens, tans, gold, yellow, stuff like that. So these were $1.99 each. Meltables, I don't know. Loretto Candle Co. So for this size, for two bucks, that was great. And then you guys, I told you I was going to pick up another one of the baskets by um, Robbie. Remember I told you guys the story about Robbie and that she, or he, I'm not sure, lives in Kansas, actually Eudora, Kansas. And uh, one of you, uh, I think it was Teresa, was it you, bought the corner basket. And I was like, oh, the, the baskets, I just love that they're handmade and you know where it came from. So this is another one of Robbie's handmade baskets and it has the leather strap attached to it. And it seems like it's in perfect condition, except it's dirty. Yeah, like nothing's wrong with the bottom. And it has like some green, some blues, a little bit of red. So I picked that up, of course. Oh my gosh, there's no way, you guys. This is going to be like forever long. Oh well. All right. I picked, I've been seeing some weird little animals lately. And again, if I don't think I'll see it again, I'm going to pick it up. So this is some kind of, I don't even know what this would be. It says 70s paper duck straw. That's actually really cute to make a tag with the ticket. So I got this guy. I don't even have a tag, so I don't, oh, was it? No, that's not it. But I got this guy and then look, I found, oh, I found another. I feel like this would be like more of a decorative piece. And that was 149 for this rustic strainer. Love it. Put that with that. Here's the other guy. What did I buy, you guys? Jeez, this video is going to be like forever long. Okay, look it. And then here's like another. I, I don't know what this stuff is. I don't. I don't know if like a company made these 
or what? Like, look at even the detail in the ear. So let me know down below. I'm assuming the deck was $2.99 too. And then I got more baskets. Look how cool this one is. Look at that like odd, like it sits flat, but do you see the odd shape of it? It's just so peculiar and I loved it. I loved how odd it was. Like cottage core, maybe. Uh, and that was $2.49. And then I grabbed this one because it's in what looks like perfect condition. Like one little chip. Looks like something was written on it once upon a time. But look at how cool with the base on it. And I just like the thickness around here. The handles definitely looks like it's hand made. Maybe that's what the writing is on the bottom. But if it's unique, I'm going to get it. So that was $2.50. And then we got this, which I thought was so pretty. We'll have to reshape that. It was 4 bucks, you guys. But I really loved the little like spindle looking fairies. And it's so weird because these two have arms, but these don't. But if you look, it was never meant to have arms. Like nothing was ever screwed into this one. So I thought that was really cool and unique. And it just says angels gather here. How pretty would that be to leave on somebody's um, tombstone? Is that even the right word? Look at how cute these are. $1.99. Look at how stinking cute these are. Oh, what? They open. Look, so what are these? I thought that they were just like, you know, that you would set something like a hot, you know, cup or something on them. But they're actually, they have, you, they're pockets. Now, I don't know if this is staining or the color. I'm going to assume maybe staining. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's a part of the color. But I just thought these were really cool and unique, so I got them. So those were $1.99. And I grabbed this one, Grandma's R for Loving, $1.49. I thought that could be special for someone to give their grandma. And I grabbed this because why not? $1.99. That eye kind of looks weird now that I look at him. But looking at him sideways like this, he's precious. But looking this way, it's like, oh. Anyways, got him for $1.99. Why not, right? I mean, if I haven't seen him before. Found these for $2.99 each. I might see if I could do something with these in my bathroom. Not sure, but they're definitely newer. Like the tag on here is newer. So these are $2.99 and I was able to find two. I got a dress in there too. Maybe I should take that out because I'll forget about it. I found it as I was checking out. And I think it's old navy. Yeah. Look how cute that is. Right? And it's just like tight up top and then flowy at the bottom. And what are these? What did I get? Oh, I thought these were really unique soup cups. Let me see like the picture on them. There was two of them. It says that they were made in China, but they're definitely like stoneware. There's dead bugs in there. Don't worry, I'll clean that stuff up. Yeah, I think there's two. I don't think they have different scenes on them. No, they're just the same. You know how to get back in the house, dog. So I got those two. Is stoneware something like people look for? Oh, look at how pretty this is. I just thought somebody, Stony Hill Upcountry Rooster Gingham. Isn't that so pretty? 
Like I'm somebody that would straight like drink from this. I wouldn't use it as decoration, but you could if you have something to like hang mugs from. That would be beautiful. And there's two of them. So, and they were $3.49 for the pair. I'll have to look at that and see. Um, yeah, there's the second one. Sorry, you guys. You know, these are so long. You know, I can't do anything short. Oh, God. Look at this. We got stuff busting out of that. Okay. Unique basket. Oh, gosh. Unique basket. I don't know if these are for hanging, like what these exactly are for, but I loved the handle and that it sits flat like this. I don't know. Just unique. Looks in pretty good condition. And it was $2.99. What did we got this. We need to paint this up. Oh, shoot. And that's what I just broke, <laughs> but that's okay because I wouldn't want it to sell to anybody. But you know what? We'll make something else with it. So that was $3.99. So there's that, you guys. No one saw me lose them. This, I just liked the green bottle, to be honest. It says horseshoe bitters. I just really liked the green glass, so that's why I grabbed that. Oh, this is that box. You guys, seriously, this, oh, look. Again, another one of those birds, $1.49. I told you, I find them everywhere and I love them. They're so beautiful. I need to paint some of them. I found this. Now I know this is like kind of nineties, but I thought somebody would maybe love it and like want to give it to a friend. It says that friendship loves at all times. And it's actually, somebody did make this. I can't read it right now. I think it says like 1990 something Mark. So somebody actually did make this piece uh, or this plate. So that was $2.99. Again, thought it was unique. Maybe somebody has a friend that, you know, has that style, collects ducks, uh, collects pottery. I don't know. You just never know, you guys. What's this? Oh, yes. Remedies. Again, this is some pottery. And then it has the little honey stick with it. And I love, again, this blue color and the ripples. So beautiful. And then it does say remedies. And I found that for $3.99. Okay, ready for cottage core? Brie would probably want this. This looks like it was handmade. Some Something Donna in 1982 i don't know what's in there though that would annoy me and it is a napkin holder and look at how beautiful those colors are i mean this screams cottage core screams country um but it's in perfect condition like i don't see any chips on this at all it's gorgeous and it's crazy that it's handmade by somebody you know so I found that one and then hopefully I didn't break it and all of this crap I just did. Let me see. Okay, this. I thought it was so cottage core. And this too is like, I guess, handmade. So look at how beautiful that picture is. Is that not stunning? And then this one says JC, November, May, 1981 on the bottom. People are so talented. Like if somebody really made this, I mean, they would have had to, right? To be able to put that imprint into, I don't even know what this is, you guys. What is it? Like a 
was it like for flour and tea and stuff like that? Like was it, did it used to be a set? I'm not sure, but that was $3.99. Oh my God, you guys, whatever. If you guys choose to say, hey. All right, <laughs> we're not doing anything with this. You know I love. Look at this gorgeous patina. I, it actually looks older. It doesn't look brand new, but you know, I could be wrong. It was $4.99 and of course I bought it because it looks old. It has some red. It has like this turquoise color rust. I mean, so, so you could put like decorative balls in here. You can even um, put, you know, like fruit that you take the skin off or whatever in here as well. I mean, so many options. That's so gorgeous. Okay, and then the last thing, you guys, we found a bunch of these at an amazing price, and they are so unique. Okay, I need to look these up. So, I'm assuming these were decorative pieces because they have holes at the bottom of them. Tell me what you got, what they are if you know. Look at these. Do you see like the hearts and then, but this looks almost like a fan. And then do you see the holes on the bottom right here? Like it almost looks like they belonged on something. And these were $2.99 each. And I was like, you know what? I'm buying them because they're different. They're definitely either like cast iron. I think they're cast iron. And they have this like natural rust going on in there. And then I found these, which were absolutely beautiful. And I think these are some kind of like trivets or something. These were $2.99 each. And again, pretty sure they are, these actually, I'll have to look them up. These say Wilton. Well, this one does. This one doesn't. But do you see that? The like brooms in there. And this one's, are they exactly the same? Yeah, they're exactly the same. So let me know. I'll look them up because this one says Wilton, but this one doesn't. And then they have like the little feet on them. So we grabbed those. John is actually the one that found all these. Then this one was $3.99. And I love this one because it looks like a raven to me. And then you have the flowers up top. And this one has the feet as well. Or do you put like pans on here? Like I could see putting a pan on this one. But that was $3.99. That's, that's gorgeous. Has that like natural rust. Ugh, I love rusty stuff. All right. Found this guy. Ooh, you dirty. You dirty. You have some dead bugs on you. This one's $2.99 and this is a teapot. Looks like maybe this is flowers maybe. Yeah, these are flowers. And this one's super rusty. And then we just have this one, which is $2.99. And again, these are rusty goodness. Look at that. And this mimics those two that I showed you first, like with the hearts and that fan looking shape. And it's punched with number 104. Again, has the feet on it and the handle. And then we found this one, which is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that rust. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then it has your little legs on it. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love it. And that one was $2.99. So I was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to get those for $2.99 each. You can't beat it. Because usually when I find these, um, they're at least like $6. This one, I think you guys is just, with the bird is so unique. So yeah, I snatched those up right away because I see them quite often, but I don't pick them up. 
Okay, you guys, that's it. Go on the website, check it out if you liked any of this stuff and you want it in your home. I'm usually pretty fast with shipping. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you to all of you who visit the website and order. Even if you just visit the website and you don't order, I still appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys always being here with me. Um, Saturday will be a DIY video. So I will see you back here then.